Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to do last week's M Scrap Busters. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper and scrapbookingwithme.com. And you can see which one it is. If you follow Melina as well, you will have already seen hers. And it's the patchwork belly bands. Uh, I think Melina did belly bands and journal cards. Yeah, I've had a sleep since I watched Melina's video. Uh, yeah, so that's my attempt at it. I'm quite happy with it. And yeah, I didn't pick any, well, you can see I didn't pick any particular colours of paper. I just grabbed uh, a load of pieces of scrap paper from my scrap envelope that I now use for my M Scrap Busters and punched. Yeah, little squares. I did two sizes because I didn't actually... I missed the beginning of uh, Melina's video where she told us the size she used. So I did my one inch and my one and a half inch. And it turns out we used the one inch. But I can use the one and a half inch. Maybe I'll do the journal cards with the one and a half inch. I don't know. Uh, but one thing that is just amazing about these... I've not, I didn't have a colour theme in mind... Uh, this is the journal I'm working on. This is the belly band I've made and it just goes. I don't even understand how that matches perfectly when I didn't make it with anything in mind. I mean, that would just go perfectly on that page, wouldn't it? Yeah, how mad is that? So I'm going to use that one in my Halloween October daily journal, which is coming along at snail's pace because I'm not a journaler. I'm procrastinating and putting off doing anything in it. Of course I am. Right, what I will say is you don't need a square punch for this. I mean, look at this. I've got, I cut one to a one inch strip. Well, I didn't. That happened to be a one inch strip that I've cut off when making another project. So if you don't have a square punch, right, I started off with a tidy desk and it's already going to pot into it. Right, here's what I did. <laughs> Put your little catch tin there. And did I? Yeah, right, this is what I did to make it easier. I cut this into two six inch strips Yeah, and then I just go down from five inch. So can you see I've got a one inch strip hanging out? And down to four And you can make your one inch Squares pretty quick like that So you're not actually measuring each one at an inch And we know it can be a pain cutting a small strip off. Mind if you have a bigger what's it? Yeah what am I talking about? Bigger chopper. I'm quite near to the camera today so that handle on my chopper is probably looking really huge. Huge. <laughs> I've got I'm quite low. So yeah there we go. I mean we've got 12 squares there already. How quick is that? <clears throat> so you by no means need to have a square punch. Right, also as we're doing it, look at that. Won't that make a perfect little decoration in a journal? I think it would. I mean we could put you could put back in different colour squares to what you took out. Isn't that just fabulous? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so I may do that. Let's punch some more out of this. I mean, perhaps you'd want to line them up a little bit better than I'm doing if you wanted to do that. I don't know. Maybe it would look better random. I mean, they're not straight yet, but I could put in. Let's do it on a piece. Let's just put it on a piece of paper so we can actually see what we're doing, woman. Pop it on there. And if I use something that add more of a contrast to it, you see where I'm going with this, don't you? I mean, that's just a piece of green card. Stick an orange one in. Yeah, so there you go. I'm thinking it might look nice on the edge of a journal page. Yeah. So there we go. You, you get the idea. Right, let's crack on and make, make us a belly band. I don't know whether I want to do another cream one or I may want to do a... I'll do the craft one, seeing as I've cut them out. Uh, the width of these, I've done them two and a quarter inches wide. That's the width of that one. It, I started off at two and a half, to be quite honest, and I ended up with too much white on either side. So after trimming it down 
to where I wanted it to be, it ended up being two and a quarter. So I've started off at two and a quarter with these. And I'm going to ink this edge before I start because I think it just gives you a better idea of what it's going to look like. So there's going to be quite a lot of inking in this, but there's going to be quite a lot of waffling while I do my inking. So, yeah, I won't leave you bored, I hope. Yeah, I mean, I did start off with tidy desk, like I said, so let's see how tidy we can keep it. <laughs> Probably not at all. Move them out of the way. I've gone ahead and inked a few squares. I'm not picking my squares in particular. I'm trying not to... Let my ring light reflect on this tin as well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm doing it randomly. I'm quite amazed at how that other one matched my Halloween journal. As I've said, I don't understand how that happened. That's something about colour I don't understand. <laughs> it's Yeah, that truly was a exercise in randomness that worked out brilliantly. And I don't get it. I don't understand it. Can anyone explain it to me? Is it because I've used every possible colour? Is that why? I keep picking similar ones out here. I think that's because I've punched. I've grabbed a particular piece. Of, that's it. That's different. I've grabbed a particular piece of scrapbook paper. And they've all ended up in piles in similar places. Oh, that's nice. And there's also, I've not just stuck to my posh paper scraps on this one. I've got posh scraps, cheap scraps. They are all card though. I did. I wanted the thickness of them to be quite similar. I thought if I were going to swap between really thin and really thick ones, it might be a little bit bumpy. I don't know, I might be wrong. I'm quite often wrong. Yeah, I admit to quite often being wrong. And I think I used about 20 pieces. So I'm going to need to ink about 20 pieces before I start gluing them down. Oh, let's have a dark one. I can hardly see inking on that dark one, but I'm still doing it anyway. Oh, let's have a stripy one. These were some of my Tim Alt scraps. These were slightly posh scraps. Ooh, These were some uh, papers from works in the UK and not posh at all. I think these, I don't know what these were, these were really old ones. I've found even some patterns that you think are pretty old-fashioned when you're just using a tiny piece of it amongst lots of other patterns. They look okay, so yeah. Ooh. I even used a bit of green. Yeah, I did I used a bit of this green polka dot. I think that's actually a graphic 45. They do love to put a, a polka dot or 10 on the back of things, don't they? But I do like but I'm, I must admit I'm partial to a polka dot. And because a lot of these are double-sided, you've got to double the choice, haven't you? What we've got there? We've got a crown. Again, I think that's a graphic 45. I've been in a lot of my old um, scrap but uh, mini album folders again. Grabbing bits that were left over. Because I can't see me making many mini amble mini mini million. <laughs> I can't say it. Many mini albums again. Not in the volume I used to make them. Oh look at this one. I like this. Is that I think this is one from the French industrial Timothy Holtz. I don't know. Why am I trying to recognise all these papers? I haven't got a clue. Do you think I might have inked 20 by now? But I think you get the idea about the fact that it's just random. I'm not thinking about it too much. Right, put that out of way so we're not having any glare. Go, go. Put your lid on your ink. Right, and I'll show you how I stick. I'm gluing mine down different to Melina. Um, we're both using dry adhesive, but in a different way, which I find is quite, yeah, that's mad that we're both using <coughs> dry adhesive in a different way. Melina used her ATG gun. I don't know if mine's, has mine run out? Oh yeah, mine's run out. I need to refill it, so I won't use that. Put you down there, ready to, I have got some refills now. I found some compatible ones on eBay that work. 
so I'm using my little crafters companion it is permanent so I'm gonna start by I mean I'm just holding this in midair it works putting a bit on the back and we're going Katie cornered and it's gone off the bottom because I'm then going to cut that flush if you look at the one I made I, I like the look of that can you see yeah I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to go that's it I mean, it's, it's uniform, but not, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Put that little bit of fly on. Bit of sparkle. Yeah, the other thing Melina did that I'm not going to do, she did a little bit of... Uh, she did some outlining with a pen. Now, I'm pretty proud of myself for this. I could have gone out and bought... <laughs> A pen to do it with but I didn't and I'm glad I didn't because after not going out and buying one I thought oh I could I could actually go and pinch one of my daughter's fine liners but the reason I didn't do that is I have used some papers with glitter on and I don't think she'd thank me if I went and scratched one of her fine liners across these glitter papers in fact she wouldn't thank me in fact, I think she'd cry. <laughs> I think if someone did that to my fine liners, I might cry as well. Because she, she draws with them. And I don't. I just do random stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm going a bit wonky with this one because I'm talking. Yeah, I think it's the talking that's doing it. I don't want that one there. I just picked one up that was the same as what I'd had there. I didn't want... I may put that further up. I'm not putting it there. It just wouldn't look right, would it? Would it? It just wouldn't. Well, that nice bit of orange looks good. And I'm just... I'm trying not to leave gaps. I don't want gaps. I can't remember if Melina had gaps. I really can't. In fact, do you know what? I'm doing this and... I did something similar in my Alice in Wonderland journal, didn't I? We're playing cards. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that now. I did a belly band of playing cards. Who knew? I've got the Queen there. If there's any adhesive on the edge, you can rub it off. Right, I think I want another... Oh, do I want that bird? Should we say bird for higher up? Yeah, let's put the birdie higher up. So yeah, like you say, I'm not really thinking too much about where to place each piece either. Other than getting... I don't want to leave any gaps in the middle. That's all I'm really thinking of. Does that have a way, right way around? I don't think it does. And yet, yeah, Obviously, if I've got ones we're writing on, I want them to be the correct way around. It's going one step too far to have my writing upside down, in my opinion. <laughs> but that's me. And I'm going to put the birdie on next. Yeah, I like you there. I'll have another piece of this. Don't want to cover the birdie's face up. So, ooh, do you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to peel that bird up a little bit if I can. I should have put the other side on first if I didn't want that bird's face covered up. There we go. That'll do you. Phew, just save the birdie. That's about as much, yeah, thinking about the positioning as I've done on these. Like I say, it's not difficult. Oh, I didn't put a green one on. Let's have it at the top, like we did on the last one. I really wanted to use a green square. And I'm just going to put one more there. I know it's not going to cover much, but it's going to be there. 
There we go. So there we have it. Oh no, belly band. I, I, excuse me if you're actually French. I'll come out with daft things like that. <laughs> I know it's incorrect. <laughs> we did have this daft car called a Fiat Uno though, do you know what I mean? Oh, don't even go there. Right, can you see? I've just cut them flush with tops at belly band. And I like that look. And that's fabulous. Right, if when you've done it, you're not happy with the amount of cardstock you've got either side, come in and trim it down. Now, I'm looking at that, and I really want to cut a little bit off that edge. So, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm not happy. I'm not a happy bunny with how much I've got hanging over each side. There you go. I'm much happier now. I've cut a thin sliver. A thin sliver. And I'm just going to go round the top now with some ink. And back down the edge, I've just cut a sliver off. Oh, so I'm just going to drop this in the ink. And there we have our belly band. So let's have a look. I love them. Absolutely love them. I can't decide if I like cream or brown the best I can't right let's make a journal card oh do you know what I'm gonna make right it, I'm gonna do something now that may just go horribly wrong right I'm gonna get me a square punch and I'm gonna <laughs> right, I'm gonna punch a hole there and I'm gonna right, yeah. I'm gonna line the edge of my puncher with edge of that hole. There we go, and then I'm gonna do it again. Then I'm gonna do it again. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm lining edge of my punch. This is just so that my squares are even. Right, it looks a bit like a film strip, doesn't it? A bit like a film strip, but not a film strip. I'm then going to bring my trimmer in. I want that gap there about the same as that gap. So should we measure it? It's about half an inch, that. Yeah, so let's take that down to a half an inch. I think that's half an inch. There isn't really an half an inch measure on my uh, thingy. But to the edge of the blade is about half an inch. And I'm going to trim. Oh, it looks weird, that handle, doesn't it? I'm going to trim that down to around the same gap that I've got on the other side. Ooh, is that going to be about right? Let's do it and say, no, that was totally wrong. Can you see what I mean? I've got far too much on that side, so I just need to cut a bit more off. It's trial and error, trial and error. What we've got now. Oh, that looks better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Oh, can you see where we're going with this now? <clears> How <throat> oh, I like, I like. I'm gonna have to cut that down at some point. But first, I'm gonna come in and ink this. I think I'm just gonna ink the outside. I'm not gonna ink around the inside of those. Why? Because I'm going to ink around the outside of the squares that I pop in. Oh, I've got a song stuck in my head. I'm not going to sing it. It is actually, I don't know, might be offensive. Well, it has. It's got offensive lyrics, but I don't listen to the offensive version on the radio in the UK. It's, it's the radio edit. But I watched this programme, oh my word, it was so, I were howling. I know they fell off say laughing. If you're in the US, you've probably not even heard of this programme. It's two comedians called Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> and I've totally forgot his surname. My other comedian is called Rob. Rob, I've totally forgot his name. Sorry, Rob. And they have this series where they go around the world trying different things. And they tried 
drag dressing up in drag oh my word it were amazing absolutely amazing right i'm gonna cut this down height wise to match my strip because i want to so you're going to be a bit limited <laughs> by the height of the page this goes on i'm also going to cut the width down a little bit as well so this started off at two and a quarter and i want it to be one and three quarters i've just decided so yeah anyway oh, they were just so funny <clears throat> absolutely funny if you're in the uk it's yeah you've got to watch rob and ramesh try whatever they've tried american football they've tried all sorts i think they tried ballet yeah i think they tried ballet yeah anyway sure up now woman so i'm gonna stick that on there and then i want to put these in here so we're gonna let, i think this would have been better had it been black yeah it would have and i think it might be better backed onto one of the cream piece yeah i don't like how it's backed onto there i'm gonna back it onto another cream piece i'm not gonna worry too much about the height then i'm gonna take that down to one and three quarter was it one and three quarter i took it to yeah I might take it to one and a half. No, one and three quarter will do you, woman. I'm rambling now, aren't I? I'm just, yeah. <laughs> ramble, ramble. I'm going to ink the edge of it. <clears throat> yeah, I've used the cardstock with the slight fleck. Fleck? I don't know. Yeah. It looks like a fleck, like a speckled egg. Yeah. Speckled cardstock, that's it. I've got the word now. Right. So, yeah. Watch Robin Ramesh. It's so funny. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. So, before I stick anything down permanently, I'm going to have a look, see what occurs. I've got a bird there. A beakless bird. I've got a flower. I've got a bird cage top i mean this one yeah is a bit more thought out about the squares i'm using isn't it i seem to be using squares that all came from nearly the same piece of paper but do you get the idea do you get the idea i quite like it now i'm looking for another random piece do we need some let's see if it looks any better random actually i think it looks better random rather than me trying to be all matchy matchy so, grab some more randomness. You can never have enough randomness in your life. What we got? So, we need a dark piece. That. I think the bird needs to be at mid Why am I saying bird needs to be at middle? It's sort of like a focal point. The bird needs to be at middle. Look at that. I like that. I really do. I think that would look so cool on Edgy's, Edgy's scrapbook page a uh, journal page so i'm going to glue it all down so the first bit i need to glue down is this and i'm going to use my dry adhesive again because i'm in dry adhesive mode i'm just going to put some along there that's going to be enough to hold it i think we could go to town on this right this is going to be the hard part lining it all up if it's not straight, I can just trim the outer. I can trim the outer bit, can't I? I can. That's what I think. Is that straight enough? My eyes literally just wobbled from side to side there, trying to line that up. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen? Oh, dear. Right. I've totally forgot what went where now. I know I had the birdcage at the top. So... The cage at the top. Do we have the broody in the middle? Where's the broody? Hello, broody. Yeah, we did have the bird. Did we have the bird in the middle or at the top? I can't remember. You're probably shouting at me, but really, that is how bad my memory is. <laughs> I forgot to ink the broody. Come back, broody. I've really got to pick this bird out now because I need to ink it. 
it should come out. Yeah, the ink, the glue is permanent, but if you don't press on it, you've not stuck it down permanent. Oh, you silly woman. Forgetting to do your inking. How crazy are you? Do -do. This one's still got sticky on it. It needed that bit of inking to give it some definition. I don't know if this might look better in a different colour cardstock or a pattern, but hey, it's a prototype, isn't it? Well, what other bits I used? Did we have a dot in it? Did we have some dots? I don't know. I know we had a rose somewhere. We had some letters, didn't we? Did we? Why can't I now find the letters? I'm sure we had some Timothy Alt's letters. Am I dreaming? Did we not have Tim Alt's letters? That sounds like I'm saying Tim Alt's lettuce. Does Tim Alt's do lettuce? I doubt he does lettuce. Maybe he does. I'd buy it. If Tim Alt's came out with a lettuce, I'd buy it. Right, I'm cutting another one here. I'm cutting down one of the big ones. So now I have Tim Alt's letters, not lettuce. And that'd be good. Honestly, if Tim Alt's brought out a range of kitchen appliances, I'd buy them because they were Tim Alt's. I think that's... How fabulous Tim Holtz is. What's for tea? Oh, we're having salad in the Tim Holtz salad bowl. <sighs> yeah, I've lost plot now, haven't I? I'll need some dark there. I've moved on from random and I'm sort of... I found it. It was that, weren't it, that I used? No, I don't want that now. I want that. We, we. There we go. Then we had a rose at the bottom. I quite like this. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Bit of randomness, but I like it. Yeah. That's quite. That's a lovely little belly band. I mean, you could put these close together. You could do this with any shape punch, really, couldn't you? We could have love arts or circles or anything. I mean, I do remember doing this technique, punching out and putting your circle waist back in different places when making cards, but it's not something I've ever implied to a junk journal before. Right, I'm going to leave it there, because I'm in fair ramble mode, aren't I? Yeah, like I said, Melina did go on to get some posh little fine like posh little fine liner and go around the edges it was a really nice pen i did look it up on amazon it was 10 pound <laughs> and i'm like no i'm not buying it be good you're happy without it you don't need to buy it so yeah yay for me i didn't go and spend 10 pound on a set of pens that i would have used once so yay for me but I'll probably buy them at some point. They're now on my wish list. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm going to ramble off because I'm very rambly. And I will see you with another M Scrap Busters in another couple of days. I'm determined to get caught up on these. So that I'm back doing them a couple of days after Melina. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.